Daz, another good win. Had to really fight for it. It was a very tight game at times, but those two goals, quick succession, that really just turned the game. It was nice that we'd uh, we'd come in at half-time, nil-nil on the back of not really getting our game going so much in the first half. Having said that, defensively, there's two sides of the game. Defensively, I thought we were sound. Uh, back three and keeper in particular um, was outstanding in the first half. Didn't quite get our game going with the ball as, as much in the first half. So we, we, we just tweaked one or two things at half-time and <clears throat> our quality with the ball was was far better at the start of the second half, which which contributed in the two goals. Yeah, and it says a lot about this team and the way that we play. That it's the two fullbacks that have popped up in the box with the goals. Well, listen, we talk about you know in in a three-five-two, uh, which which everyone's familiar with at the club. You know, in in when you're pinned back, you become a five, and to get yourself into your three with your wing backs high, you need to be good with the ball, and we were better with the ball. In, in the in, at the start of the second half, which is why Boise and, and Young Femi popped up and found themselves as high up the pitch as they did. So um, that's pleasing. But the pair of them, I thought, were outstanding today. Boise, in particular, I thought was was excellent. I thought he was pretty faultless in his performance. In all fairness, and obviously the last 20 minutes going down to 10 men, Cardiff obviously put a lot of pressure on. But the, the team effort. I mean, Frankie getting back there, Brunty getting back there. Everyone was digging in to get that clean sheet and get the result. Well, you've got something to protect, haven't you? And you know, we just we we went two banks of four, and and Will was our focal point who had to do a lot of leg work with with not a lot of reward. Having said that, once he got the ball, we secured it for us and allowed us on a couple of occasions to get up the pitch. But two banks of four, bodies on the line, keeper coming out and punching. You know, it's what you need to do. We got something to protect, and and, and I thought we protected it very well. Obviously, getting towards the business end of the season now. There's four games to go. How much will it help these lads, whatever happens this, at this point in their careers, to experience, you know, having something really to play for going towards the end of the season? Well, listen, a big part of development for me is about winning as well. You learn how to win, and games like today is a fine example. You go down to ten men, which they'll have at some point in their careers. You've got to learn how to roll your sleeves up and ride out a game. Uh, and for me, having recently been in management, um, albeit at the, at the lower end of the pyramid, Every one of these boys have got a chance of having a career. What level remains to be seen. You know, we all want them to get to the top and, and, and obviously play in our first team. But I've seen enough in the few weeks we've been here that there's certainly a career path for every single one of them.